Joshua chapter 18, land distribution at Shiloh. The entire Israelite community assembled at Shiloh, where it set up the tent of meeting there. The land had been subdued by them. Seven tribes among the Israelites were left who had not divided up their inheritance. So Joshua said to the Israelites, How long will you delay going out to take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, gave you? Appoint for yourselves three men from each tribe, and I will send them out. They are to go and survey the land, write a description of it for the purpose of their inheritance, and return to me. Then they are to divide it into seven portions. Judah is to remain in its territory in the south, and Joseph's family in their territory in the north. When you have written a description of the seven portions of land and brought it to me, I will cast lots for you here in pres the presence of the Lord our God. But the Levites among you do not get a portion, because their inheritance is the priesthood of the Lord. Gad, Reuben, and half the tribe of Manasseh have taken their inheritance beyond the Jordan to the east, which Moses gave the, the Lord's servant gave them. As the men prepared to go, Joshua commanded them to write down a description of the land, saying, Go and survey the land, write a description of it, and return to me. I will then cast lots for you here in Shiloh in the presence of the Lord. So the men left, went through the land, and described it by towns in a document of seven sections. They returned to Joshua at the camp in Shiloh. Joshua cast lots for them at Shiloh in the presence of the Lord, where he distributed the land to the Israelites according to their divisions. Benjamin's Inheritance The lot came up for the tribe of Benjamin's descendants by their clans, and their allotted territory lay between Judah's descendants and Joseph's descendants. Their border on the north side began at the Jordan, ascended to the slope of Jericho on the north, through the hill country westward, and ended at the wilderness of Beth Haven. From there the border went toward Luz, to the southern slope of Luz, that is, Bethel. It, went, that it then went down by Ataroth Adar, over the hill south of lower Beth Horon. On the west side from the hill facing Beth Horon on the south, the border curved, turning southward and ended at Kiriath Baal, that is, Kiriath Jerim, a city of the descendants of Judah. This was the west side of their border. The south side began at the edge of Kiriath Jerim, and the border extended westward. It went to the spring at the waters of Naphtoa. The border descended to the foot of the hill that faces the valley of Hinnom at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. It ran down the valley of Hinnom toward the south Jebusite slope and downward toward, toward Enrogel. It curved northward and went to Enshemesh and on to Geliloth, which is opposite the ascent of Adumam, and, the conti and it continued down to the stone of Bohan, son of Reuben. Then it went north to the slope opposite the Jordan Valley and proceeded into the valley. The border continued to the north slope of Beth Hogla and ended at the northern bay of the Dead Sea at the southern end of the Jordan. This was the southern border. The Jordan formed the border on the east side. This was the inheritance of Benjamin's descendants by their clans, according to its surrounding borders. Benjamin's Cities These were the cities of the tribe of Benjamin's descendants by their clans. Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Kiziz, Beth Araba, Zemarim, Bethel, Avim, Para, Afra, Shephar, Ammoni, Ophni, and Geba, twelve cities with their villages. Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpah, Shepharah, Mozah, Rechem, Irpel, Tarala, Zela, Heloth, Jebus, that is, Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath, fourteen cities with their villages. This was the inheritance for Benjamin's descendants by their clans.